interview that I did with Yeah, with Sway. Yeah. That's why I'm telling you so, when I seen that and you ate on that thing. So thank I'm like, you. damn, thank like, how is she over here with these guys? I, I, I really, like, I was telling Jamaica before, like, when you do what you love, like, people going to respect you and you'll find That's your real. tribe. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Okay, now... When when I look at you and I, I see how you maneuvered, you you become very lyrical. Like in a time where I see you sitting beside Kendrick Lamar, and I'm like, well, how does this even happen for a girl that's in New Orleans and a guy that's out of Compton? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you end up linking even these people? You know, linking with these people. Um, the the what you speaking about is an interview that I did. With yeah, Sway. with Sway. Yeah. That's why I'm telling you so, when I seen that, and you ate on that thing. So thank I'm like, you. damn, thank I'm you. like, how is she over here with these guys? I, I I really like I was telling Jamaica before, like when you do what you love, like people gonna respect you and you'll find That's your real. tribe. You know what I mean? So I was just going there to do an interview, and okay. at the time it was a uh, South by Southwest, I believe. And there was a bunch of different artists that was supposed to be paired up because they had so many people to get interviewed at the time. And um, I think Pusha T was there, uh, Childish, um, Gambino. a bunch of Childish, um, no, what's the other guy name with the three on his hat? Um, Chance the Rapper. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Chance. So it was, it was a bunch of people that was there, right? And um, Kendrick wasn't there at the time, but I think I was going up next. And then one of the uh, producers saw Kendrick and saw me and was like, oh, we gonna put them together. You know what I mean? So it was nothing planned. They didn't have it set up like that, but um, it just happened that way. You know and what I you mean? And you was ready? Yeah, I was ready. But of you gotta understand, so you act like it's just people be ready. It don't work like, like a lot of people wanna be in these positions, but a lot of them get to these low positions and they're not ready, you know? Mm -hmm. How did how did you knew if, if if I have to rap or if I'm a, if I'm called out on some you knew you was gonna drop a freestyle? Um, yeah, I don't know if you setting this up right now. No, 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 <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm just like, talking. Let me tell you something. Like, one thing I love I'm about female rappers, I love when female rappers are so hard, and mm -hmm. that's how I see when you be rapping, when uh, when I see your Instagram and stuff, mm -hmm. it's like you want to tear the mic off, like, mm -hmm. and I love it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm like, how can we not ask for that right here, right no, now? No, I really yeah. not setting it up like that. I just want to know, like, how she's, uh, how you, how do you prepare yourself to be put in a situation where you rap in front of elite people and you kill the game? You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't do that. Well, a lot of people choke. We don't have them all here. They choke. Yeah. Who do you? Who, who's your dream interview? In my dream interview. Mm -hmm. Who would I like to interview? I probably already done them, but I'm being real because I'm just. I, I don't never. I don't know, bro. Birdman. Birdman would okay, be a guy that Birdman. I would love to love so, it, but I kill so it. So if you baby. saw yeah, so what? if you saw Birdman, you're gonna be prepared because oh, yeah. you know, so that's why. You know, that's your field of expertise. This is my field of expertise. Mm -hmm. So you ain't gotta get ready because this my this where I roam. Now if you would have asked me, how did you go in there and interview such and such, Kendrick, sit next to Kendrick Lamar and interview him. That ain't my realm. That ain't my scope. You know, yeah, but this yeah. is what I do. I rap. So, you know, I was yeah. ready. You was very ready. Of course. I loved it because, see, I'm in the South. So I, I look at stuff from a different spectrum as everybody mm -hmm. else. And I said Birdman because I already interviewed Bun B. Really, mm -hmm. that's my boy. Like, that's what I didn't want to interview him because I knew, like, if you mess up my fandom, nigga, I'm going to be mad as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I, it's more important than the interview. You yeah, know what I remember mean? because we could have yeah, asked him a long time yeah, ago. I, like, I, we, he's she like, asked him. Yeah, I would never he ask was him. Like, he was like, no, not yet. Nah, I'm not I ready do that for it. Yet, I, we gonna want mess our it up. platform to be a certain way before yeah. we get him on the show. Yeah, yeah because I know I'm a fan. Way I'm in the streets with it. Like, I'm... I'm riding to a pocket full of stone, selling a pocket full of stone type nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So don't mess this up for me. Like, this is what I did. Our history depends on this. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, but, yeah. But I get it. So I was ready. You know, I knew it. And I pray. Once I pray, it's up. So whoever sit in that seat, it's all about making sure that so I bring it. So you feel me. Oh, yeah, so I you feel got it. I you feel you. You like, understand? So, okay. You think about it. Like, when, when am I offset? Do you feel like like in the south where you come from? Did that hold you back or did that push you forward? Um, it, in, in the very beginning, I used to think that it it would hold me back, and I I felt like that was 
a thing that held me back. But to be honest, I changed my mindset when it come to shit like that. Nothing can hold me back. It's either timing. You know what I'm saying? It's either the wrong time. It's not for me. You know what I mean? Or the way that this can happen in this way, maybe I ain't work hard enough to get that. So I'm all about taking accountability first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can blame it on like being a female from the South. I can say all of that shit. But really, you told me something about, you know, getting an interview with me. You was like, maybe I got to get loud enough for her to see me and want to do the interview. So I like that because... You took accountability and said, I'm going to go back and do my work. You didn't say, oh, man, well, she stuck up or whatever. Because it's easy to blame shit on somebody else. I always take accountability. I'm not, I love the fact that I'm from New Orleans. That shit stand out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love the fact, I'm a female. You know what I mean? And I'm in this place. They ask me, how do I feel in a male-dominated industry? Before, I used to feel like, oh, well, you know, it's a bunch of men and they don't do this. No, because I know I'm prepared, so I'm going to get up there and I'm going to do my thing regardless, so I'm going to stand out. So yeah, I always yeah. take accountability. Yeah. I would never think, um, especially when you're in the field and you know you're you're very good at what you do, mm-hmm. I would never, ever think of it as being intimidated because it's a man there and he's good. I would only be feel a certain way when I know that I'm hard and this other person hard, but y'all are not giving me the chance to, to elevate my career, mm-hmm. but you're giving all these other people. That's the time I when I a feel a like... Give a <laughs> I do not give a f- The reason, I mean, I've had a lot of... What I don't like is I've had a lot of men and a lot of people in position try to f- mm-hmm. You know, I was so about them thinking about what that. they... Yeah, them thinking what they did holds me back a lot. You know, I've had men have me in a studio, you know, under the pretenses yeah. of working, you know, um, and we'll work together, but now they got access to me. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And now they get to kind of study me and figure out a way that they can try to. F- and that's that right there is upsetting to me. Right. But um, other than that, I'm like, I'm going to get it regardless. And this is another thing. The shit that some of the, the women that you might say you know, may elevate or whatever. We don't want the same things. You know, the things that I want out of my career, I'm already getting. So I can maximize that and it can be bigger, but I really wanted to get my message out and I really wanted to be able to make money, travel, and be happy. I'm not asking to be on a cover of whatever. Yeah, I, I love the fact that I can... I pulled up here by myself. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that I can go hop out at the gas station, yeah, do what real. I want to. I, I still need that sense of peace because that's what I started rapping for. I rap to get this shit from the inside to the outside. Yeah. So I'm still getting that. And whenever that shit stops, then I'm stopping. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.